Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be working on the XJ here. Uh, came out one day, fired her up, and she had an engine light on. So after reading the codes, P1494 leak detection pump switch or mechanical malfunction, right? So I've had this code before and I know exactly what's wrong with it and I kind of did a temporary fix and it actually worked for several months, honestly, just because I, I just didn't want to go out and get the right part because I it worked with just the zip tie, to be honest with you. So what I'm talking about is on the side of the intake, right? Right down in here, on the side here, there's this these three lines right here, the three EVAP lines. One here, one here, and one here. And well, the one that's the one that's closest to us, which is located right here, as you can tell, well, just falls right off. And it's not really in the best shape because, well, take a look at it. It's all cut, dry rotted, and cracked and whatnot. So what I did was I took a zip tie and I put it on this end and I clamped it right on to that little nipple right there. And it actually worked for quite some time. So I was actually really pleased with that and I didn't even have to worry about it. I actually forgot about it. I was supposed to actually do the right thing and fix it, but I completely forgot about it. So this thing is garbage and it's gone. I wasn't able to get the exact boot of it, so I got like a little contraption here, like a, a 90 degree elbow with two rubber um, piping on there. So we're gonna go ahead and this is gonna be a quick, quick fix, honestly, quick video too. So it's not the appropriate one, but it actually is gonna do the job pretty well. It's nice and tight inside here. So my buddy at the auto parts store hooked me up, did a pretty good job doing it for me. Um, and this is gonna be a quick, quick video actually and it shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna go ahead, put the elbow right on in there. There we go, come on. There she goes. That's nice and tight. And it was kind of facing up. So let's take this plastic pipe. Be careful about it. I think it's a little too long. Come on in. There she goes. Okay. Boy, oh boy, that's actually a tight. That's a pretty good fit right there. I think that's all set. All right, so now that's all set. It's nice and snug, nice and tight. That was a pretty quick and easy fix for that. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fire up, I'm gonna clear the codes, and I guarantee you, it won't even come back. Actually, probably shut off on its own. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now, and we're gonna erase the code. Let's see here, go back. Are you sure you want to erase? Yes, I am positive, press enter. Maybe this, oh, she shut right off, that girl. All right, so as that's communicating with the vehicle, I mean, it's a simple, simple fix. It's a common issue, actually, when it first happened. I had to look it up online, because I'm like, what is this code? And it was just, someone said, oh yeah, I just looked inside the engine bay and it wasn't even connected. So I'm like, oh, let me go look inside the engine bay. And lo and behold, it actually was not connected just like that gentleman's one was. So pretty simple fix. I don't think that's gonna come back. If it does, well, then I got a follow-up video. You know what I'm saying? So guys, that is it for today's video. That's how you fix that code. And yeah, I mean, now I don't have any codes. This thing has been pretty good to me, actually. I actually want to get one that's like uh, another one and turbo diesel swap it. I got like a Volkswagen, you know, TDI engine, get another one of these and put it in there. That would be an awesome build. And I just love these vehicles. I also want to do so much more to this. I get an auxiliary battery in here so I can run something in the back. That's common, common, common. So guys, thank you for watching. Do whatever you want to do. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.